we've had a tremendous success right here. And come on over, folks. Please, Brian, come on over. We've had a tremendous uh, construction success in Florida. This is Lake Okeechobee, which I've known for a long time. Lake Okeechobee. It's a it's a incredible lake, but it's had a lot of problems. And uh, it wasn't properly funded for years. I want to introduce some of the folks here. We all know Governor DeSantis and Mrs. DeSantis. Thank you very much for being here. Done a fantastic job. And uh, Ron took over from a uh, governor that a couple of you know, Rick Scott, who has been bugging me about getting this done for a long time. And no sooner did Rick go to the Senate than Ron started bugging me the same way. <laughs> and we got it done. We have the funding and we're we're doing. I want to just thank the Army Corps of Engineers. It's been fantastic. I said, let's go. We need a wall also on the uh, border. You know that, right? I'm looking at all these walls. I'm saying southern border, too. Don't forget our southern border. And we're right now building a lot of wall on the southern border. I want to thank Senator Marco Rubio, who's been very involved in this. Marco, thank you very much. It's great. Been very, very involved in it and very important. Uh, Congressman Mario diaz Balart. Over here, sir. Where are you, Mario? Fantastic job, my friend. Thank you very much. Brian Mass. Yes, sir. Congressman Brian Mass. Brian, fantastic job. Thank you, sir. Fantastic job. We're proud of you, Brian. Uh, Francis Rooney. Where is Francis? Right here, Mr. Yes. President. What a job. What a job you Thank do. You, Mr. President. You know so much about it. And a young, new congressman has done really well. Greg Stobin. Yes, Where are you, Greg? Stubie. Come. Greg Stobin. So I just want to thank everybody for... Being here, we have uh, something that's very important. It's important in terms of safety. Uh, our secretary, as you know, David Bernhardt, is with us. He's been really uh, doing something very special for Interior. Everybody respects him. Everybody likes him. He's right now up, so I hope you guys can help him get his approvals, if you don't mind, okay? <laughs> but he's acting, but soon he'll be hopefully permanent. He's going through a process that I hear David is doing very well. And maybe I think it might be appropriate if I start with the governor. We'll have everybody can say a few words about what we're doing. But what we're doing is very, very important. It was very dangerous, and it's a big project. But it's a great project for Florida. And Florida is a state that's uh, a phenomenal state, a very important project. So if I could ask uh, our governor to start, and then we'll go around the horn. Great. Thank well, you very much. Mr. Mr. President, thank you for your support uh, for Florida, not just with this, but with the hurricanes and other things that we're working on. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, really, if you look at what we need to do, you have Okeechobee, and this goes all the way down, really, to Florida Bay, the Everglades, and our estuaries. Uh, this is an important part, the EAA Reservoir, which the President's uh, committed to supporting, and obviously at the state level, Governor Scott got that online. We're going to push forward on that uh, to get that done. We're going to try to get the additional funds from the federal government to raise the Tamiami Trail. Uh, and then our state legislature in this session is um, answering my call for uh, historic support uh, for water resources and water quality. So I think it's great that we have so many of our local officials, state government and the federal government uh, really seem to be singing the same tune right now. So, Mr. President, thanks for thanks for helping us out. Thank you very much. And I will say and I think I have to say because it's really to the credit of all of us together. This project was dying until we got involved. This was really dying. And, you know, in 1928, over 5,000 people died here. Everything broke, and they had a problem. And the Corps was just explaining, 1928, they had a problem that turned out to be a total catastrophe. And we're making it stronger than it would ever have been, and uh, it's really in great shape. So, Marco, do you want to say a few words? Well, we just want to thank you. This is uh, the most important issue in Florida is water right now. And it's actually the algae blooms and all that that are destroying property value. And, and economically threatened communities where people come to have access to the water and they can't go in the water for three or four months a year because of the algae bloom. This actually is related to that. And, and your administration deserves credit. You helped pull forward money, use disaster relief money to finish this, which meant that now that money gets freed up for the rest of the Everglades. And you have a chance, Mr. President, and your administration to go down in history as the Everglades president, as the person who helped save and restore the Everglades. Yep. And we're going to be very proud yeah. to, to be a part of that. We have a chance to go down as many things. <laughs> but the Everglades is very important and very important to me. Rick? Sure. 
first off, my first shoot, fix yours is the governor. I kept asking the Obama administration for the money to fix the dike. Mm -hmm. um, if you if you look at the risk here, uh, just remember Irma. We thought at one time Irma was going to come right across this lake. The odds are we would have a lot of problems south of the lake. Uh, anywhere that it, it first been a big problem. We've got, we've got uh, locals here. We've got the mayor up close in here. It would have been a big issue. So we started bugging. Uh, I started bugging the president as soon as he got elected uh, that we had to get the dike fixed. And he came through. He worked with Congress, and we got the money. This dike will be done by 2022. It would not have happened uh, but for what President Trump did and the fact that he took he took charge of this. He said this important issue. He went to Congress and made sure we got the money. And everybody up here that's been involved federally has done a great job making sure we have the money. We're not done. We've got a lot more work to do. And I know the president's going to continue to be a big supporter. I will be. Absolutely. David, could you say a few words, please? Well, I think uh, the one thing, Mr. President, that resonates here uh, as an important issue is, first off, this is an incredible partnership and a split between the state and the federal government, and that's uh, that's a, everybody paying their fair share. And then, you know, if you're uh, a recreationist, going to be in the outdoors, uh, this this project fundamentally, long term, is is a critical component to promote the lifestyle. You're doing great. Thank you. Thank you very much. On behalf of a lot of people. Congressman, would you like to say a couple of words? Well, I just want to thank you for your commitment to Florida. You know, water is the lifeblood to Florida, both the Florida agriculture and our tourism industry. So I just want to thank you for your commitment to Florida. Appreciate it. My honor. Brian? Sir, this is Florida's kidneys. Unfortunately, we only have one of them, so we can't sacrifice it. It means a great deal to everybody that you took the time to be here present, to fund the projects, to pay attention to them. It means a lot to the entire state. Thanks. Well, thank you very much, Brian. Appreciate it. Great job. You're Thank you. Mr. President, I just want to thank you for this and for a lot of other things you've done to show when a business person gets involved in government, good things can happen. And you are going to save the Everglades. You're, we're, you, we're doing as much in three years because of you that we're done in the preceding 13 years. So thank you, Mr. President. In a lot of ways, and uh, really a lot of other locations, too. We're doing a lot. Thank you very much, Francis. And Congressman, please. Mr. President, just to reiterate that you have the mayor of Clewiston here, you have state officials, you have federal officials. Uh, but it doesn't happen without your leadership. It doesn't happen without you stepping forward, saying that this is important, putting, in essence, your effort, your leadership, and all of us are here working together, but particularly to thank you because it would have not happened, and what Francis says is right. You have done more for the <coughs> environment, for Lake Okeechobee, in essence, for Everglades restoration in your two years than we have seen in decades. So thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And you know, despite all of that, I saw the general and I said, General, tell me about this in a minute. How are we doing on the southern border? And here he is anyway. Come on, General. Say a few words about this guy. Sir, thank you. Um, I, I shared with the president uh, down by the water that uh, it took us 13 years uh, with the funding that we had to get this project to the halfway point. And with his leadership and all the elected leadership here from the state of Florida, it'll only take us three years to get the remaining 50%. Uh, percent. We have a great, uh, strong relationship and partners here, sir. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, You're doing sir. a great job. Okay, folks, thank you very much. Thank you. Would you close the border to trade? All trade. Uh, Mexico is making absolutely a fortune with the United States. They have a trade surplus of over $100 billion, which is far bigger than anybody understands. They've had it for many years, and either they're going to stop. They have the strongest immigration laws anywhere in the world, and we have the weakest, the most pathetic laws. Number one, Congress has to act. And number two, Mexico, they make so much money from the United States and so many other things, so many other assets. They have to grab it and they have to stop it. We have right now two big caravans coming up from Guatemala, massive caravans walking right through Mexico. So Mexico is tough. They can stop them, but they chose not to. Now they're going to stop them. And if they don't stop them, we're closing the border. They'll close it, and we'll, we'll keep it closed for a long time. I'm not playing games. Mexico has to stop it. They have people coming right through Mexico. It's a long, very dangerous journey. Mexico sends buses. They send trucks. They do absolutely. They started at one point a little bit stopping. They don't do anything to stop it right now. So the caravans form. I've ended payments to Guatemala, to Honduras, and to El Salvador. Oh, no money goes there anymore. We were giving them $500 million. We are giving them tremendous aid. We stopped payment to Honduras, to Guatemala, and to El Salvador. 
we were paying them tremendous amounts of money, and we're not paying them anymore because they haven't done a thing for us. They set up these caravans. In many cases, they put their worst people in the caravan. They're not going to put their best in. They get rid of their problems, and they march up here, and they're coming into their country. We're not letting them in our country. Our Border Patrol, the job they've done is incredible. The job that ICE is doing is incredible. And we have run out of space. We can't hold people anymore. And Mexico can stop it so easily. They don't go through a court system every time somebody steps on our land. You step on our land, welcome to the United States. It's ridiculous. So Congress, and I know you guys are going to work hard on it, but Congress has to fix our broken immigration laws. We're the laughing stock all over the world. People pour into this country. We stop them because Border Patrol is so incredible. But there's a point at which you can't stop them anymore. We have no detention space, no nothing. So Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador have done nothing. Mexico has done nothing. And I'll tell you something, Colombia. You have your new president of Colombia, really good guy. I have met him. We had him at the White House. He said how he's going to stop drugs. More drugs are coming out of Colombia right now than before he was president. So he has done nothing for us. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.